Hello! In this session, we will create a magic circle using simple materials and the Niagara system. Please join our Discord and download the magic circle texture to import or import another magic circle texture and then create a material. For using it in particle systems, set the blend mode to translucent, then create a texture sample node and set the imported texture. Next, in the Niagara system, create a particle color node that allows you to set the particle color and a power node that can adjust the texture's contrast and connect these nodes to opacity and emissive color as shown in the video. This will display the magic circle in the material. Next, to create a ring-shaped particle, Create another material. Just like before, set the blend mode to translucent and check two sided to make both sides of the plane visible. Then, create a radial gradient exponential node to represent a circular gradient. Create a sine node and connect it to the radial gradient node to create a ring shaped gradient. Next, Create two constant nodes by clicking while pressing the number 1 on your keyboard and use these to set the radius and density values of the radial gradient node to make the ring thinner. Then, connect a cheap contrast node to the ring shape and adjust the contrast value of the cheap contrast node using a constant node to eliminate the ring shaped gradient. Next, Use a saturate node to fix the ring's color values between 0 and 1. Then, create a particle color node to set the emissive color and use a multiply node to set the particle's opacity. Now add a fountain emitter to create the Niagara system Increase the number of particles in the spawn rate. Change the shape of the spawning location from a circle to a cylinder and set the mode to linear in add velocity to change the movement to gradually rise upwards. Currently, the particles are falling due to gravity force, so remove this to prevent them from falling. Next, in Initialize Particle, set the particle's lifetime and sprite size. Then, change Scale RGB to Linear Color in Scale Color and set the desired color. For the particles to naturally appear and disappear, set the curve in scale alpha as shown in the video. Next, create an empty emitter and change the sprite renderer to a mesh renderer. Set the mesh of the mesh renderer to plane and set the first created magic circle material. Then in emitter update, create a spawn burst instantaneous. Set the emitter state to self and set the loop behavior to once to create only one magic circle. Next, set the size of the magic circle in Initialize Particle. Then, in Particle State, uncheck Kill Particles. When lifetime has elapsed, so that the magic circle does not disappear due to lifetime. Next, 
Add update mesh orientation to slowly rotate the magic circle. Add scale. Color to add color. Next, copy the magic circle's emitter and set the copied emitter with the ring material. Remove spawn, burst instantaneous, change the spawn rate, and set the life cycle mode to system so that the particles are affected by lifetime again. Next, Add an add velocity and apply an upward movement to the particles, as done with the fountain emitter. Reduce the lifetime and initialize particle. Next, add scale mesh size to allow the mesh scale to change over time. Change vector to float and add a curve so that the mesh gradually increases in size when created. Then, set a curve of scale alpha in scale color so that the particles naturally appear and disappear. Check, kill particles. When lifetime has elapsed in particle state, again, so that the particles disappear after their lifetime. Currently, the minimum size of the spreading ring is too small. Set the values of the key dates in the curve of scale mesh size, as shown in the video to make the ring particles spread out from the magic circle. Finally, set the position of the emitters we've made to local space in properties. Now, place the created Niagara system in the level.